As we kick things off, we need to see who's starting on which sides, because the knife round determines side choice on the third and final map of a best of three series here at the ESL Pro League. So oh, the reveal, on. here it is, ladies and gentlemen, it will be Heroic on the T side and Big Clan on the CT side. I wanted to rush so bad. Dual is for Tizian here, probably over towards the hut position with those. A couple of nades in play. Tabson with a kit of Julie's. Well. Yeah, I was waiting for these. I've been on the Reddits. I've seen it all. I want to see it again. Tabson's going to get a one tap, son. Wait. No, he's not. A bit late. Oh, they're all through main. Ah, an armored on the hut. That's ugly. Keto up the vent could have the element of surprise and looks like it's being watched a little. No. Good exit and a good headshot. Keto very precise as he looks to. Whittle away at Stown. Flank from Squeaky, though, does arrive in the form of Tess. This is doubles, and Tara's sketchy with the P2K, but thompson has gone, and that low HP may not get him far. Tess makes it even lower. Triple kill from the Dane to get our new game started. Very sharp shots there from Tessus. Three to his name in that one right there. So go ahead hit him, him to kick things off. He had a very good performance on Mirage. They weren't able to get across the line there. But with the overpass victory... Under their belt, it looks like they're sitting hot to trot. He's actually opted to go for the MAC-10. We got a Tech-9 on Katie, another MAC-10 for Nico. This one might be fast. They've only gone two rifles. Bow up with the AK, down with the Galil. It could just be a top play. I think you bang on. Nico's out. Well, ish. A bit of a drive-by with Tessus, who's oh, having stop. an absolute oh, belter so far. Big impression in the first. This is good for him, too. I mean, he's going to be riding a very high note going forward, and I think these two know what's up. Yeah, if you have a force by like you just see from Big there and you get run over, three players obliterated out of the round instantaneously, the force by is like, oh, okay, well, we just invested. We're hoping to isolate a couple jewels. And uh, now we have to full eco next round. So Zentaris and Sirison will do their absolute best to hold on to the weapons that they have upgraded to. Um, armor for Zantaras as well. Yeah, valuable items, of course. What are the Mac-10s we've got here, Rush? Do they have anything nice? Anything like yours? Oh, a nice oh. vanilla. Okay, it's not... No, uh, it's not quite as nice as Let me see the sticker Rush. work there, Katie. Give us an inspect, mate. Can you hear me? Katie, press inspect. Casper. Casper. Gula. <laughs> Third person inspection. Yeah, not as nice as Rush's Mac-10. Has he shown it off to you yet? He's very proud of it. Is he proud Keep of his Mac-10? it off, yeah. He loves Cad, it. Chad, you can't mock him for showing off his skin. You and that deagle. Every day. Have you, seen, the... have you seen have my you skin? Have you seen the nicest deagle in Counter-Strike? Am I wrong? No, Henry, take no. this, Henry. You're not wrong. Well, Henry played with us for the first time the other night. I wanted to, and I know, I know like show and tell. Him. He like walked in front of the class. He's he was like, AK. this is my deagle. It is from home. There's many like it, it but lo this one is my own. That sort oh, of thing going on Jesus. here. Jesus, all right, poet. Just quoting movies. Don't think I'm original. Don't worry. You. Uh, <laughs> grenades out. Zeus is out. I think we know what to expect here. But uh, if damage is done, those scouts, you know, the saved over armor on Zantaris with the deagle. Mm, could go in play. Oh. Yeah, Tabson is going to be forced to hit the brakes. <laughs> Sanity setting in now. <laughs> there we go. That's what you wanted to see for the CTs. Wouldn't have got that frag if he didn't have his armor. I can say that. And okay. Sayerson, we know what he can do with the scout. Maybe he's got any more evidence to provide in this round. May not be the guaranteed third we consider. Two bodies already dropped. Borup, Nico, both hands off the mouse and keyboard for the remaining one minute on that clock. Tess is regathering his oh, resources. Oh, baby. Give it to me. Oh no, he's so. Oh, oh no, oh no! It's okay. Now he's gonna Zeus him. Oh, they can still win this. They can. Oh, he's got one. Okay, who's left? Zantaris has got nade and armor and a deagle. Okay, this Oh, the fun little lobby work. pivot here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Zantaris' best chance is to try and catch down on the oh. plant. Oh, coin with the nade in his hand. Nice nade, a little bit of damage oh. was through the walls, and Tara's tagged even lower. And is he going to walk out of that smoke? The element of surprise, but so does Stown. Nice wide angle on him. You can <laughs> see the evil eye staring back. <laughs> oh, dear. This was a funny turn of events, this wasn't was it? This was funny. Wait, what do I want? Oh, yeah. Oh. He's done well to get that, hasn't he? Whoa. Sounds like my stomach after cage right? Oh, it does. Nico is loving it here today. How the cam's looking? We've got the Rush cosplay going well. Yeah, all good. Everyone, yeah, no, no pets. I didn't see any pets there. No, I haven't seen a cat in a while. Here we are. Bit of a different change of pace. Might be a vent dive here. And it looks like that's what Borat was intending to do. But the spray from Tamsin is perfect. Oh, okay. Kiddo's died to a Molotov. That was on top side. 
So the molly's oh. trickled over the top of the hut there and it's burnt him, potentially flashed on up in that little exchange at the start of things. So we'll be back to a 4-4. Four, four. Utility being expended by the CTs even more, so they're left over with two smokes with a minute 20 left on the clock. No diffuse kits in play. So if we do find ourselves in a post-plant scenario, keep that in mind. Two orbs in play as well, so... Still a lot to be done in this round. Seriously seen him, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh, ding to my This oh, is easy. That's absolutely beautiful. It's all his. It's his doorway. Nico has to use another. No way forward. That was lovely. One by one they come. One by one they fall. So they will be able to buy again. Cadian's the only one without money. I think he had like 1,600 or something along those lines. Here we go. So you can see he's flashed, he's flashed, he's flashed. Oh, oh I'm in the molly. Oh, Someone tell me I'm burning. Oh, oh, what a nasty way to go. It doesn't get better than that for an opening, but Sears and he was the one to close it. Great, great orping. Not easy to find multi-kills when they're flooding out of Squeaky, but yeah, as you said it, one by one they come, one by one they fall. Hurrah, hurrah. Uh, heroic will be taking Does that it. exist in my mind? The ants go marching. Two by two, two hurrah, hurrah. <laughs> the best, 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 I hope it's, no, it's to do with ants. Go. It's ants, okay. It's to do with it's to do with ants. Not the Bugs Life knockoff from whatever. Well, I don't know if I it. I don't know life, if it is yeah. in either ants or a Bugs Life, but I do know that that song is. Look about at this pretentious ants. boy calling it a Bugs Life, as if the A is <sighs> prominent or relevant. Well, I think different film names in different uh, countries is, is something which does stick out. Out, we go into our fifth round. See the lineup from Tabson, hoping the door's blown off. Does manage to suppress them all the same. And so this is the real first taste of what we can see from Big CT's side as well. So do focus up. Searson's holding tight line for the main cross. Looking at the smoke count, there are still four in play for the T side. And Tabson's throwing I a like deep this. one. That's cool. What does that necessarily achieve, though? It hasn't quite got... It feigns that there could be lobby aggression, so they need to be on high alert. They can't just expect and respect that the CTs will know where the battle lines are drawn. Tamsin continuing to find frags. That's the second of the game. Antares supported by Searson. Big plan definitely in it to win it. Cadian may try and catch a timing here as he knows it falls to him. I play contact. Keto, though, patrolling the, the lower site. He will be there to call any... Silly nonsense as the smoke fades. So they just walk out. Tessus does catch Keto. Now things could get awkward for Tizian. God, he must be feeling like he's on an island here. Yeah, already preoccupied by Borup as well. Searson leaps in, unable to convert wow. much. This is a lovely shutdown by Heroic. I am <laughs> amazed at this. Lauren, this was a, this was a 3v5. Tessus and Borup, Kaden in support. They have managed to convert Zantara's to clutch. Kit and an AK. Yeah, I think he's accepting his fate here. That was down to Tessus's opening. I mean, I was outlining how they were holding top site. You could see Tizian was still had no information on Yard, so he was kind of floating between the two. Mm -mm. It was Tabson, I think, actually on main. Let me correct myself. Keto was the one caught by Tessus initially. So really big stuff from Heroic to turn that one on its head. I think it's going to get awkward for Big Clan yet again. Look at their bank account. This is uh, 2,400 loss bonus. I wonder if they'll buy here because Zantaros can drop across the rifle. Seriously, can buy one of his own. He could drop it across and get dropped a scout from one of the other individuals, and they could still have a relatively decent buy. So maybe we will see Big go for it. Like, I can definitely see a world where it can come together, but that is a big one to steal away. And look at that. Tessas can't believe it himself. Everyone's a little surprised, honestly. Everyone looked a little shocked that it worked out or that it happened against them. And you were right to mention the money because it is in a bit of a bad spot. Yeah, I, I guess on the CT side, they want to play by the book. We've seen so many teams going for a lot more force and lower buys that Big could have made a case for it, but opting to go the safer route. And Kadian, not very safe. He will be saved, though. Whoa! Go on! Oh, Tizian! 
He has just demanded respect in the lobby position. Oh. Stown returns the favor. Quick spray. More of that. Absolutely more of that. Zantares in pursuit of the remaining two. Smoked off. He's going to walk through this, isn't he? He's going to catch some timings. This could be huge. It is. Big clan. The powers combined. Tizian and Zantares seize the second round of play. Don't need the full buy chat or force when you can do it with the Show Deegs. Me that Deeg. Look. Oof. Oof. <sighs> oh, come off it. Look at that. That's just something else, isn't it? Big shots there from Tizzy. You don't expect that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Again. Uh, Tessus's face says it all. Magnificent. Oof. Well. Eagles out this time for Heroic. Can they do one better? Can they show us something just as specky? I don't know. I think it's a tall task, isn't it? Sisson's on the case too, and the cross towards secret isn't so secret. The uh, attempt has been truly noted. Now, whether or not those... What do they have? They do have Deagles. Okay. Well, they're all getting on that new skin, aren't they? I thought it was just Kane who had it before, but now they're all jumping on board, barring Nico, of course, true to the Blaze form. But Stown might have a shot. That's nice. Another would be better not to be. Maybe just a, a reminder of how difficult that previous round was in comparison to a normal Deagle round. Yeah, Tizian just uh, really turned it on. Now we have a game. I felt like Heroic were going to be able to run away with this half, but that's a, a big one to steal away. Heroic didn't I have a uh, truckload of cash. Gone for the, uh, oh, I think he swapped the gun over here with Stown. So uh, there's an AK in the hands of Burrow, but a MAC-10 in the hands of Stown. He does love the vent drop. He does have the spawn for it here as well. Oops, towards ramp. So Zantaras to be tested. Oh, good luck, Zantaras. This is a lot to handle. Oh, that's really, really nice catch from Cadian. He was trying to keep the speed up, and Tapson does go down. So Tizian and Keto. See, Tizian is on some sort of flank. Kadian holding it, but should he win this duel? Really slow them down. Will he be ready for Borup? Oh, this is great stuff from Tizian, but the cross set, not where it needed to be. All on to Keto for the remaining two. He won't be hurt. He can play ahead of this. Oh, if he call that cross, not the one he wanted. That's what he wants. Lovely. Bore up down. That's the bomb noted. He's got to know there's another player nearby, and he does. But it's Tessus, and he has been having an absolute mad one. So Keto having to play this just right. Taking time, causing that little bit of paranoia. But while all this happens, bomb is planted. So time now favorable, of course, to Tessus, who hasn't vacated the area all that much. Wow. He loves that spot, Tessus. We've seen him play it time and time again. And with the X-ray off, we lost track of him as well. So when we do get into the post plants, Tessus really does enjoy going towards that dark shadow position. But that's a good one to win. It's good trading, opening up with the MAC-10, making their best spawn of Stown Singh. Zantaras couldn't get anything done whatsoever. And that was the frag right there that they needed. Otherwise, it would have been too difficult to get across the line. And well, there's the execution. Simple as that. Get back underway too. Uh, Mac-10 in the fray again. Nico has it this time round. Big will have guns out once more. Cool cameras, to be honest. Nice work, Rushley. Oh dear, Zantara is in a bit of a tight spot, and Searson's not going to get to pull the trigger this time. They just made the same call again. Let's see if it has the same result. Certainly no early casualty this time. Zantara is in a position to contribute a whole lot more. But just denying this ramp early is enough to force two CTs off of that upper site. So do not be surprised if they try and return to lobby. Keto wouldn't be either. He's ready for it. Look at Kadian as well. Oh, Tizian played in so well off the back of that. Scary because it could be a one and done, but that smoke gives him some more. Oh, Cirrus, and how are you adjusting like this? Tessus does keep control, but it's only Tessus. 1v5. This is a very, very tall task. Only towards the front hut, giving him an opportunity to swing and take a fight towards Squeaky Door. Nobody home behind the CT van until Tizian gets a little bit inquisitive. He now knows one towards Yard, but look at this. 50 seconds left, damage done. Should be only a matter of time before he goes down. Bullets coming his way. Tabson finishes it off, and that's four on the round for Big. So 
now the money back in the bin for the heroic side of things. Check their cash out. Yeah. 2,500, 1,400. This is what happens if neither team can go on a larger streak of rounds. It means the loss bonus can't build up for when the, you do lose one, you're able to, to mount back with the buy. So once they lost ramp, Big's job was to take elsewhere on the map, and they did exactly that. Lobby pressure was nice to see. And there's Cadian. Not too happy with how that one scuttled on down. See how they want to take the eco, or do they want to go for a force? We'll be taking another time out here. Very good to be diligent with these. I want to talk through all of your options. Make sure you're making the right decision. Next round, there will be 1,900 on the board, so it might actually be worth the force here. Cadian thinks so, or at least he's dropping a pistol across. I saw a Tech-9 getting lobbed to a teammate. Everything's starting to settle now for big, but it feels like it can be destabilized very, very quickly. This game has been uh, the most back and forth affair out of the lot so far, and we did have a lot of force buys over on Mirage. This one just feels, has an extra gear to it. And it will be the full force. Everyone's investing, smokes, flashes, mollies, all the good gear. Might just be the standard wall smokes for secret. And they can cross on down with a bit of pace behind it. So they're holding, oh no, their smokes will come out. The molly actually going to cause a problem there, I think. As you can see, there's a massive gap. Yeah, colossal gap. Be smoking on the fly. That's actually going to work out even better if they're trying to sell the outside cross, the fact that that's gone. And now they charge in. Oh, Zantara's. He's done well to avoid the first headshots, but can he deal with more than one? Incendiary buying himself some time. The swing comes in and Borup finds the necessary frag. That should enable a plant. Res Tessus is down there too. Tabson could pivot from the decon door. Cadian hoping to catch them as they descend the vents, but they'll clear lobby. Ortizian will first, and oh, the bullet's oh, so close. One more. Good plan. Definitely going to hear the door as well. Tessus took the fight, and these two around the world we go. Keto, the timing. Look towards Vent, where his teammate was, but it doesn't seem to matter. Nico now in towards the vents, does get the first. He's going to need a great deal more, and the Land bomb isn't him. planted for him, remember. We saw how that was from the other perspective. And there it is. Diffuse comes in, nicely handled by Big. You can see Heroic, though, did have a, an idea, a, a plan in mind, but pound for pound, those tech lines are never going to be quite as potent as you'd love. Yeah, Borup did well to open up the site, though. That could have been a much more, much less interesting round for Heroic if they hadn't have Cat. got that frag. Good to see our feline fans that <laughs> are just tuning casually in as watching. well. Yeah, he's enjoying the game. Put the pause on the keyboard. It's gendered that cat, potentially. I apologize. AK-47 for Nico. The only real threat into this round. Of course, the Deagles will do what Deagles do. Saving it does give him another chance to have some impact. And he is quite literally the spearhead of this flying V. Oh dear, Tabson caught with a nade in his hands. That's rare. The element of surprise real, but there goes the rifle. And here is Tizian. Multi kills galore. Borup steps up to the plate with the AK. He's gone. This round two. And it looks like there is going to be one more consolation frag for Stown as he turns his sense up to one million. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the infamous DPI button. Yes. <laughs> or just sadly, it looked like he was a bit peeved about it all, but. Uh, it does have the rifle. Bomb is loose towards the upper side of things, so pretty hard to get that one back in hand if you're going through squeaky. Probably not an option, really. I like the round the world strategy. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of double bluffs in Counter Strike. They're gonna certainly assume that Stan will eventually try and emerge from his hidey hole, and they're passive in their stance. So there is a universe where oh, Searson has just adjusted to the potential for me. If he goes completely around the world, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Clear in main very methodically, but. Left eye peak, such a hard fight here. It Lucky is. Lucky's move, though. Could be a Timing gap. gap. Yeah, he has to hope for it, though. <gasps> Forces him out of the fight. Incendiary for CT. Nice. Ben, he's gaming today. Is it going to spread? Oh, that's so unlucky. I thought Keto would burn. No. Doesn't confirm it. No need. Bomb picked up. Imagine if he gets down the vents. He doesn't. Good idea. Good attempt. Yeah, he tried it all. For an eco, yeah. It was, it was a really good crack there from Heroic. This is tw around 12 we're about to go into, and it's still pretty neck and neck, score being six to five. Hasn't been the standard what we're used to seeing from Heroic, right? With Stown cracking open squeaky, dropping down the vent, it's been a bit of a different look, and I think that's because of the force by nature. It's hard to start playing into your T-sided gun rounds and the rhythm and the routine that you normally would if you don't have everything that you need to make those rounds happen. So maybe this could be the change up. Five AK-47s on the board, quick smoke towards Yard.
Nico to do what Nico does. Throwing the secret smokes as well, but Cirrus and immediately opening things. So Stown is being uh, beaten pretty handedly over towards the squeaky position. Not being able to find the regular impact that he would. And the bomb on the back of Burrup. So it means they will be going down and Cirrus. And again, he's repositioned. AWP flash is good. Adrian goes down. So everything is looking kind of troublesome for Heroic here. Yeah, this one's going to go quietly unless Nico wants to raise his voice. Damn, they caught a nade as well. Softened up for the fray. It's Taro's to connect another. And so, with the bomb down, We've got a real project to maneuver through here. Flashing to confirm that ramp is clear enables Borup to focus his attention towards the main point of contact. Test us with a Molotov for that bomb should time run low. Elbow spotted. All from Decon. How peculiar. Freebie for Tessus. That oh. shot from Tizian makes it relevant. Suddenly, this becomes a real problem. Borup, there's a smoke on the bomb. To break it, would be the sound cue. Oh my god! A full wild spray, and they both line up just in the nick of time. He was half a second from the defuse. Oh my gosh. Oh, the spray. Keto's trying to put his body in the way, but it's just the last few. The last few seconds from the Borup spray. Borup's had uh, some success with the bombs recently. Remember, he had the 10-second defuse over towards the A site on overpass, and here with the two-man spam down there to clutch things up. And it's put Big in a precarious position there. Money is uh, curious now as well. Susan will be able to get at the AWP. Might need to find Beep. a bit more impact. We go fast. Keto. Oh, dangerous scenario. And those deagles, the shotguns. Out of bullets. Oh, my bloody, bloody lord. Down. Sounds He's okay. It's all right. It's all right. All Calm right. down. Breath. Here we go. <sighs> I'm sure a big fan. Yeah, well, a little bit scared. Blink and you miss it because what's going to happen now if Big are unable to win this round is going into the next, they're going to have pittances to their name. So things are looking very good for Heroic. Bomb down. 40 second timer begins and I'll immediately Big think better of this. Sirison, especially retaking on Nuke with an AWP, it's never easy. Retaking on Nuke with an AWP in a two on three situation with no armor, no nades, nothing to speak of, even more difficult. Zantara's down there in the vent, just seeing if he can grab a weapon on the way out or find someone to make some space before they exit the site. But as the bomb has now ticked well and truly past the halfway point, this is a heroic round. It will be posted on the board roughly 10. You can count yourself at home if you want. And Zantara is unable to find himself a gun here to take on home into round number 14. So you can see on the side of things, it was the $1,900 loss bonus coming through for Big. They don't have enough money to go for a buy, but they might want to force because the AWP is in play. We can see Kevlar being purchased. Keto is actually gone Kevlar with the incendiary. Maybe he wants to go... Is he going to get a P250 maybe? Okay, there it is. So it is a buy. This is an all-in. If Big can win this back, they can still win the half 8-7. If they lose this, we should really be looking at... Even a 9-6 from Heroic is possible. All righty. It's all been outset. How do we close this half? Is it recovery for big or do Heroic make a statement? Plenty of potential. Cadian's going to ensure it looks good for Heroic to start with. Seven rounds on that T side. It's already magnificent. Stown's going to get pressure here in lobby. He knows just one is enough and he'll take both instead. Keeping this one as clean as possible. Now just two remaining. Searson on that orb. How much damage can you really do? Cadian head spotted, but it's a tough angle to re -peak. He thinks better of it. Looks like they could be winning this T half. Eight rounds to be posted here. <laughs> All right, Zantaris, good luck. The timing could have been oh. better. So what? The third would have been something. The third could have made the round winnable. Yeah, this this suddenly goes from like, oh, it's nothing to, okay, a bit dangerous. But I think Sirison understands the bigger picture and the knock-on effect of how this one's now gone. Oh, well. They're just going to have another higgledy-piggledy buy after this anyway. It's going to be 2,400. It's nothing fantastic. You really don't like having your CT half taper out in this way. And once again, this is just a, the fashion that the game played out in. It was so back and forth. Nobody could string together rounds, which meant that it was difficult for teams to build up a loss bonus. We see a lot more saving guns because of that nature. Just having a look right now what the longest streak of rounds is. 
need my HUD to update. Come on. There we go. Longest streak of rounds is three. Heroic have an opportunity to make that four to close out the half here. But yes, this is what you've been focused on this whole half is the fact that there hasn't been enough consecutive CT rounds to really man create anything substantial. But the blue shell effect hasn't really come on in. Yeah. You know? That's what can happen if you're losing six straight and then the blue shell of almost being able to buy for the remainder of the game, depending on certain circumstances. Need a perfect storm. We won't get into that right now. But what we will get into is round number 15. Last chance saloon for Big to post another one on their CT side. All right, he needs galore. Tabs him with the spray. We'll wait and see what the T's do here. Eight rounds on the T side is incredibly impressive. And I swear to God, this map is looking T-sided these days. But these teams just are incredibly talented at what they do. And of course, the money is in the toilet for the CT side in no other words for it. But what do they do with this? Flashes, here we go. Here's here, anti-flash, catches a few though, runs forward. And well, it's gone about as well as expected it would. Yeah, big plan. Hoping Zantaris can do more than that. He's got the bomb, but lost his head. Aikido, he's got some Deagle highlights, but not to close out here. 9-6 on the half. Heroic versus Big. One more half to go. Who's going to come out on top of ESL Pro League Season 12 round robin for the groups? Well, we'll find out how the third match for some of these teams is going after the break. I'm so sorry that I wasn't really there for me. Cause nobody else is showing any empathy. Rudely awakened, quiet undertaking. Did I do something wrong? Life isn't easy. Why did you leave me here with my thoughts alone?
back in action. Nine to six, the scoreline on our third map of our second game. You can see the boys from Big Clan are down and not out. We are waiting for one player to return to his seat, I imagine, or maybe not. We can see if we got all five oh, in the server. Match is paused. But it uh, looks like Tizian's yet to buy. It's all gravy. I'm sure he'll rejoin us Shouldn't in a second. Be a problem. Yeah. Do you try the sausages, Lauren, or do you just have the nuggies? Just went for the nuggies. The sausage was pretty good, I thought. Alex, did you have any sausage? I did. I had three. Oh, they were quite tasty. Sausies. Three I... sausages and a more, a two handfuls of chicken nuggets. I loved you. That was my dinner. I actually really enjoyed it. So. What, is your, what is the ideal dip you go for for a chicken nugget? I told you I'm a chili mayo man. You're a chili mayo man. Even yeah. with nuggies? Well, I mean, I've got a soft spot for sriracha in particular. Raw and so the Fong Food Company have got their hands around me. I see. Yeah. Over my you, condiment of I like ketchup? a sweet and sour. Oh, a sweet and sour. But I do man. do for the nuggets especially. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, for I appreciate that. Ketchup on everything else. So sweet and sour in German? Can you do that? You've learned, you know sour. Sweet and sour? Zeus. Zeus. What is sour? I thought, wait, Sud is south. Oh, yeah, that's where I used to live. Um, anyway. All right. Before things get a little too, too far south for us, it is six to nine. As said at the start, so we are forgot to buy anything. This. Don't say that to Maybe me. Maybe he just doesn't want armor. No, oh, there we go. There we go. It's two updated. Of them. Or we're just going it. Uh, Kadian? You're, you're on the CT side. You don't need to go back through Squeaky. You're good, but maybe you wanted some territory because what is going on? Yeah, they've already got a lot of outside control, and Borup's going to have to react to that. But Zantares is a little intimidating at this point. I'd rather have a higher point of elevation, so no arguments there with Borup's relocation. Keto's all the way towards CT spawn as well, hoping to find the angle. It's ridiculous. Look at that. Look how far back he's going. And that's the bomb found by Stown. This lobby aggression from Heroic is translating fantastically. The trades all favor them. Borup oh. descending. Stown protects. Just Keto. We saw what he was up to, trying to hunt down Borup. But in the meantime, he's used those rafters to great success. Could be the end for him here. Borup staring him down. Hasn't revealed his location just yet. This is the reveal. That's the frag. He needs two more from them. Stout. Yeah. He's predicted it, There's though. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. precise third. Yeah, okay. Well, that's one way to kick it off. Heroic now up to 10 6. We saw this is almost similar scenes to what it feels like if they don't win the force by of what we had on Overpass. Remember how uh, big when they swapped on over to the CT side, they lost the pistol, they went for the force by, they weren't able to convert there, meant they had to take an eco, and the half kind of simmered away from them at that point. They are doing the force by situation once more. All in with five smokes, handful of flashes, couple of HEs, some upgraded pistols. They need to be a little bit more deadly on this one. Keep that money of Heroic low. Keep it as well, highly contested as possible. And Tapson's going to take a chunk of nade damage early. Oh, that's a beefy amount of damage, isn't it? Walking right through that smoke. Does he find Nico? Well, Gadian does find a whole lot of players towards Ram, but it plays in Tessus. Nade, not bad either. Happy enough with that. But Zentaris does get the SMG. He snuck past. Yeah. He's got <laughs> a real threat here, Borup. It's this three is, on the lower this side. This is a kooky round. Poor Rush is trying to keep track of all this nonsense. There's the pre five from Stown. Now Tessus has to deal with his ramp aggression. Look oh. at that timing. So lucky. So lucky. Tizian's going to be kicking himself. He didn't hold for a second longer. But uh, yeah, the T's are in hell. More ways than one. So much territory has just been swapped back and forth. It's really confusing to know even how we got to this point. And that's Chan Sponge Virtual talking, by the way, ex-professional counter-striker. So there were three CTs on the lower site within like the first 40 seconds of the round. I, I, I'm very perplexed, but right now they are going lower into Tessus's domain. Surely this should be safe. One, well, over one by the second. So where's the bomb? It is on Xantaris and there is still Nico around. Yeah, there shouldn't be a plant on the cards for as long as... Oh. Oh. Bye, Keto. Good catch from him. Bowled over. Bomb. Will it be allowed to plant? Doesn't look like they can stop it. Oh, just in the nick of time, Nico does. And so heroic, running away with this one here on the CT side. This is what? First two converted, and with the money starting to swell, they only have to have the rebuy. Nico's dropped his MP9 for Cadian, so he can treat himself to the armor Two and orgs. the smoke. And double org. Oh. I, I imagine they might take one of them Potentially knowing the buy as well, Chad, you know what I'd love to see is that that once a half CT angle on the on the roof of warehouse. Sure. That's oh, where an yeah, orc nice and cheap. Nice and Look at that, they're all coming. Going out there. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what they've got in store for us. MP9 rushed up to the red. Big clan likely to be dead shortly. Three. 
Target approaching Cadian's position. He could certainly could use a bit of stat padding. He's been relatively quiet here, and this will be a nice addition to this collection. Or oh, not! Wow. Again, it happens. That's twice. Cadian started to pull the trigger, and Keto's just blown his head off. Yeah, Nico did find Zentaurus in the meantime. He plays him down. He knows what's up. Oh, don't want to lose this nicely covered in the end. But uh, a little bit of a threat did build, but I feel like Cadian's just had a bit of an unfortunate run here. Stown's feeding himself. <laughs> yeah. He really is. 24-9. Drops the orb for Cadian as well to ensure that his uh, sniper of the team is equipped. Bang, bang. bang. Oh. Now mops this up nicely here. And well, now we're going to be taking three scoped rifles into the first CT gun round. And look, this is very potent. Tesla's can use his lockdown ramp. Also a great gun when he's rotating down from ramp towards the lower side to deal with leaks. We've got Cadian on the AWP. They're going to get aggressive over towards ramp here. So... We've seen a lot of teams doing this more and more with the AWPA. He'll peer on up, cover the angles as the rifler goes on the close wall. Tassus is going to come into the peripheries any moment now. Thank you, Rush. And this is the initial fight. And Kadian wins it easily. Okay. Perfect timing on that. Oh! oh the headies just... Oh. What are you even meant to do? Well, oh, okay, Every all right, all right. <laughs> Every single time he switches to a member of Big Clan, they go down. Your fingers are cursed, Finger Rush. Of death. How dare you? It's a death sentence. Every player you observed that round. My God. And now look what it's done to Big Clan. They're going to have to operate at 3.6, 3.5. It's certainly not enough. This is the fantastic opener. Just scraping in with the left eye peak. Had to be pulling the trigger quick, and he did. And just as the attention is drawn to ramp, as you, as you noted, Lauren, that was when the lobby crunch came in. Real agonizing to take. And it seems heroic definitely have been the more well-oiled machines. See what Big Clan have got in store for us into this one. Try to fake the top site hit. But Tessus finds the first with ease. He's even got a nade in store for anyone hunting. And look at that. Perfect drop back. The only issue for Cadian here is, wow, well, this smoke might have solved it. Yeah, I think it might have, because they can't walk through it. You've no idea what's on the other side. Searson's going to give it a go anyway. And oh. here is Nico. Hello. Oh, it's so easy for them. Look at oh. it go. Close it up. Nuke's closed. Put it in the oven, it's done. Heroics here, no forks needed. Oh, you Wish my have... space transfer went like that. Either org exclusively to know when you can afford it. Okay. Oh. Let's try it. Let's do it. I'm down. Little cat. Aw, look, Aww. somebody's stuck in 2018. He's dabbing. I was looking Aww. at a cute love cat from left. Finland. Was that nice Finland? to live in the past? <laughs> Good for you, man. Missed the memo on the death of the dab, I guess. Sirison's already taken a chunk of damage. He does get the kill onto Cadian, so at least that's one step in the right direction, but he will be operating on low HP for the remainder of the round. Go on, Searson. Playing with fire. <gasps> Ouch. Tessus caught in rotation. This is the best chance we've seen in a while from Big Clan. And they're descending into Stown's territory. He only just got there. Dropping util. They want to make a quick plant here. They want to change the uh, the odds. And with that, Molotov, it should buy them enough time. They can't really contest this. What have you got for us here, Stown? A save? Surely not. You've got cash for days. Wouldn't you want to make this as costly as possible? They might hang around to go ooh, for some ooh, of these kills. If they could take the orb out of Sirison's hands, I don't think Nico's going to be looking. That would have been all right, but now it's just a matter of milking away as many guns as you can. Yeah, and Sirison is being hunted. Make no mistake, Stown wants that orb out of his hands. Oh, would you? Yes, he would. 26th frag is a knife. Steals the AWP away. Borup's found another as well, so they are depleting the big resources. Zantaris is going to take it right back. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you see that? Revenge, blood for blood, knife for knife. Okay, well, it did get more costly, and that is actually kind of fantastic for Heroic in the grand scheme of things. They've got plenty of cash to splash. They'll win this battle of longevity, and you can see one stab for another. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> $1,500 exchanged both ways. A bit of comedy in our intensity. Let's get into this one then. This, this is where Big Clan can either convert us or Heroic can convert this victory. Oh dear. Ouch. So much damage done towards Yard. This time there won't be an opening kill. Yet. Orup had a look. 
And that seems like enough to deter, but they are taking good chip damage through the smoke. I think Nico weakening Keto is cross as well. Ah, Cadian's oh, caught God. transition. He's lucky to get away. I missed shot. Panics with the incendiary, but Lauren, this is going to get hectic. Look how much space Tamsin has to work with. Ts have infiltrated. They're everywhere, right? Like they can just try and play this around the rotations. It just no man's land. They've no ability to get around Tizzy and waiting to potentially pressure up her as well. Bomb still with Sirison, so it's got legs to it. Cadian did make it away quite luckily. Back up they go. Are they going back up secret? They're not even vent to top, just the whole way around, which currently doesn't have eyes on it. They've done the right call and at least staying out of the CT guys. They've got to collapse onto the top side very easily here. It's down, Nico and Borup, all to be tested here. Tizian out first, and he finds down. It's Borup to try and hold things together, but slips through the fingertips as now Tessis and Cadian to try and play this back both through lobby, though, and Xantaris has a great idea on one, but doesn't expect the other. Sound cues, you know, he's one investigating hurt. Xantaris has also been spotted descending vents. Could be a nasty surprise waiting for him as he leaves. And here comes Cadian. Arrives and announces his presence. He's got an, oh, if only, a nade onto the side. Not going to find it. And Tabson will finish him off. So, big clan. They needed to pick that one up. Now, perhaps we really do have a full 30 rounds ahead of us. Checking heroic situation. They picked up themselves at the opening five. And I think in, in the con conceding the two consecutive rounds, they will be taking themselves at a timeout. Had enough money to, to drop across some guns for a buy here. I believe Barab had 10k on the nose at the tail end of this round here. So just working out what type of buy they need to look for or where the holes that they need to plug are. One more timeout for Heroic left after this one. Only two more rounds needed for them to convert the victory. Timeouts will not carry across to overtime if we need to get there. Uh, let me try again. The, the timeouts will carry over to overtime if we need to get there, but if you use them all before, you don't get any more. Once again, the double org setup. Nico and Tessas really liking to rock these on the CT side. Katie on the AWP. Bar up and down a little bit more mobile and agile with the M4A4s. Same again from Big. Standard four AK-47s and the AWP out one more time. Yard smoke's being set up. Deployed. Very quickly. Well, there's going to be a gap in that one, but the attack looks like it's all a ruse. It's going to be over towards top. Oh, go, Katie. <laughs> Okay, he's pulled out the nade, but he's spotted one. He knows the orbs in lobby. Flashed off the line, unable to get the kill. Look who's down secret. I don't think they have any idea. No one's yeah. there. Been quiet enough as well. <laughs> okay, Tessus, that, that's bullshit. Straight up nonsense. Tessus even takes Santaris as well. He is not stopping to contribute in pursuit of the 15th. The flank is not yeah, But this is the one you were talking about, right? I think Tabson completely unannounced. Tessus is the only one unknowingly found by Searson though. So there's 2v2. Tamsin's still the unknown quantity. No CTs. I say that as down has come through secret. And with the sound cues available, here's the break of the glass. He gets ahead of the molly. The impact may have been heard. Searson's trained on those windows. I think, yeah, that information has been relayed and they want to peek him. <laughs> Ooh, this is so sketchy. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got ourselves a weird 2v2 and Lauren Pansy Scott on the mic. Yeah, I'm, I'm with them. After that little bit of a spot, tiny bit of information, that one hit off the molly, and they're like, nah, 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 just get out, get out. Towards up we go. Better post plants. Knowing what they're up at. Borup's still alive. He yeah. actually made it up there. He's still alive. I, I don't know how he's standing in this, and he won't be for long. Nicely handled in the end by Big. The two of them, Searson and Tabson, putting in some extraordinary work there. Yeah, I mean, consider how that one started. It looked like he just found Nico Tessas filling the feed with two, we went two for one into a 3v4. And then from there, let's see this one again. So that's nonsense. And he even gets a second. So keeping track, that is now Searson and Tabson, two versus five, essentially. I don't think anyone would complain about that comparison. My goodness, well played from those as they dry off their hands in preparation of the next round. Clearly, it is getting sweaty business in the server. Oh, lots of nade damage early here. It is just an eco from Heroic, so I don't think we'll be seeing too much out of them this time round. Flash on over into Tabson. They run, whiffing a couple of easy shots right there, but at least the information is given and garnered to his teammates. They can get a Off we go. bit of a move on over towards ramp, but oh, 
Oh, Stan is hiding. How long does he want to stay in his hidey hole He's going to shoot two of them in the back of the head. <laughs> Next round. Just wait for it. <laughs> <sighs> it's good news, though, for the T side. They needed a bit of recovery here. A little bit of breathing room. Pat out the stats a bit. I do want to highlight Stan 168 ADR. Not too long ago. Zentaris, though. Closing down any sort of worries, any threats Tessas could have done, and it's 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 clean. Well, they're in the game now, right? Double digits, this is where we start thinking the comeback is hugely possible. If Big continue to get into that lower site control, it's very simple for them. It seems like once they get ramp, they just smoke off Decon, molly through the window so the players can't swing open the door while they plant the bomb open, and, and that's their go-to round after round. Lots of damage being done in the early stages, too big in the yard position with nades or, or the fray of bullets, but... I think we're getting hugely converted for Heroic here. Bomb will go off. Round 10 posted on the board. Money good enough for them to go for a buy round. Let's see if the orgs are the preferential weapon again for Tessus and Nico, or if one of them will have to be dropping an AWP over for Katie, knowing he has 5,500. And now we have cat cats jam, cat everywhere. Jam, cat jam. So, Lauren, you're getting your way. That's yeah, cat jam. Yeah, that's cat jam. That's what they, they, they got all their points for and invested into cat jam. Congratulations, guys. Oh, look at the I real wonder, cat. is there like a oh, leader? Oh, the two real cats. Is there a leader of, of the, the fan cam? You think you think someone's in there like oh, getting everyone else to, to do what they want? Yeah, I imagine there's a ringleader. <laughs> there's always a ringleader. <laughs> What's he up to? I see that orp heading towards Squeaky, and he wants a little bit of a taste of the action early. Ooh. Oh, the sound mm. cue. I see what they were planning, hoping, but Stown still too smart, bangs his head off the top to get a quick cross. Now, Wanda ready to sending the vent. Oh, he missed, oh, the, he missed the vent. That is hilarious. Taps the knife out, Tessus, gun out, and he's going to get another as well. He's in such a prime position to find the first. Zentara's in Keto, trying to replicate the same success we saw from Tabson and Searson in the round prior. A two versus four. Otherwise, facing five match points. <laughs> Wonder which angle he's holding. <laughs> Zantara as he sees the smoke <laughs> arrive at his feet. Hmm. The, bo the bomb actually couldn't be in a worse position. The vents. Oh. Oh. oh, just think about that. There's only one real avenue Look in, right? Look at Nico as well. He's about to flank him. Poor Zantares. Knife, 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 knife. Not today, not today. It's 15 to 10, and as we discussed, that puts them on notice. They'll have plenty of cash to splash, but Big Clan really have got no margin for error. Any early casualty, any opening kill could be the last one they get to participate in. Look like a rocket out of there. <laughs> Gun does look good when he uses it, doesn't it? Maybe we're allowed to live the org life t tonight, Lauren. I, it's good for us uh, less practiced gamers. There he is. I am yeah. old. I, Very I, PG-13 I there. didn't say I anything about age, Lauren. Yeah, and as we discussed, age is but a number. Have you seen RPK? Oh, stop RPing his RPK. You love him. you got his cross here. You're like, RPK does this. I'm gonna... look, it worked. It worked really well. It did. Way. I'm going to try on my RPK tonight as well. Is that the same with the RPK orping that we've never seen before? <laughs> that was some fast <laughs> orping RPK. RPK was that was aggressive evolution. crane orp from RPK here. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Last round of the game, potentially 26. 15 for Heroic, 10 for Big. Let's see if we want to go around for a couple more. Last round of this game, potentially, says Chad. Potentially. Yeah, it's like when people say, oh, all right, gents and ladies. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate being included. Don't worry. Uh, for now, though. Here we go. Smoke's on the way. Tabs and on the cross. Tess is now called upon. This Does he have the bomb? He does. And Wait. it's an express delivery from Tabson Limited. Oh, wait, Tizzy and Yeah, but Tessus, Tessus is ready. Look at that. He does catch him. Four on four. The trade from Stown. This could be huge from Tizzy, and that's absolutely massive. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't really, really a word, but Cadian. Gonna do his best. Lauren boiling the tea kettle now. Cadian burning, and he's gonna be screwed down to 28. Nico. Oh. How are they behind each other? What is, what is this Just game? Madness. Antares stops it before it truly starts, but it is still a 3v2, so there is a bit stop of this. danger here. Stop this. He can, he can swing the door Does open. Does he do it? Does he do it? Here we go. Bomb is down. Player also down, 2v2. And Cadian trying to play it back in with an AWP. Never going to be easy here. Uh, did he drop the smoke? No, Borup needs to drop it now. He's being hunted. If he can get out and close that door, he's cooking with gas here. Didn't close the door behind him. Was he raised in a barn? Cadian. 
I'll hold up a second. If Kadian clears out behind Decon. Doesn't. Oh no, with the door. Oh, oh the yeah. spray! Tizian screwed himself! He's tagged down to 3 HP. The Warbang Wars are going to be won by Borup, but there's no time, and he what? actually gets it with the clock. This Counter Strike is actually just making me scratch my head. I am. It's hard. It's hard to comprehend at times. And they both go down with the bomb. Oh. But that's 11. Big win the first of the five necessary to take us to overtime. Chad, explain all of that to me, please. I don't know if he can. I want him to try. Right, so the fact is that they managed to get Tizian set up for success down the vents, I imagine? They had Tamsin take the bomb down secret and drop it instantly. Tizian with the whole door shenanigan. This is im Deutsch, komisch. That is weird. You can learn that one. Komisch. Now, Junge. Yeah, perfect. All right, well, it is a hodgepodge buy coming out from Heroic here. They've got the alligator in play in the hands of Bow up. It's all right to use over towards the top site. Not a lot of utility Sucks to work with. Sucks on the retake, though. Yeah, not ideal. There you go. Uh, oh, was granted a timing, but just moved out of his position. Tapson versus Kadian could be one of the first duels here. Flash down, and he goes. Oh, they're going through main as well. Yeah, Nico catches the first. And Centaurus is gone too. Big Clan, they're going to have to operate at a significant disadvantage here. The weapon disadvantage pretty much subsides after the double kill. Tess is trying to play two angles at once, and <gasps> my god, did they not see each other? And he's gonna kill Searson, I'd be so oh, mad! Oh my god, how does that happen? They just don't see each other, four by three or not, it doesn't matter. Tizian and Tabson now trying to pull something together, but this is all very strange. Top uh, what's going on? respond? His teammate just got slaughtered, and Tabson's found another, oh. and we're left with the shotgun, Alex, the shotgun. Yeah, but I don't know. I think Borup might be ring around a rosying here. If he gets Tizian's hunt, this is such a odd turn of events. Oh, what is premium. happening? Pre oh, <gasps> my God. Please, please, please. <laughs> I'm done. I'll see you later. Oh. Uh, what is happening? I've never seen so many instances of timing. Uh, Look at this. Uh, Look at all of this. Oh. What a peculiar game. Just odd. No other word for it. This frag, by the way, like Stout, what's his teammate doing? Nico. <laughs> Nico's just having a nap. Oh dear, oh dear. Goodness okay. gracious me, heroic. I'm 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 glad that the timeout's been called. It's heroic that called it. It's the final one. Can we call a timeout Ooh. once in a while? Like, what is going on? Where's the money at for the CTs now? Yeah. Yeah. They, just one save is all they need. So just just the light pistols. They don't need to go for the investment here. Just play it safe. Give up 13 to big. That would be the direction heroic should be opting for. Big, on the other hand, they have Sirison with the Mac 10. Maybe want to use him relatively aggressively if they want to go for a bit of ramp play or as they jump out top with a delayed hit. Seven seconds left in freeze time and yet to have any purchases on the heroic side of the buy. 27 for Stown here. He's having a bit of a banger. 22 for Tessas, 21 for Burrup, 19 for Nico. Kadian a bit quiet on eight, so if he can come alive to help the boys close things out within the final stages, we'll be looking good. But this one, ladies and gentlemen, this should just be a big round every day of the week. The only way... The heroic win this is if Big decide to go ramp and run into the stack. That doesn't look likely. Certainly far from the realms of likelihood. Could take away a gun and squeaky. Oh. There's a rifle scavenge, but now they know where at least two or three other players are. They're taking yard control, getting around to ladder, doing the old uh, switcheroo. Hard to lose the rounds once you have heaven control. Clown car dropping off everyone at vents for now as the fiesta continues, but that rifle is the only thing that keeps my mind focused towards it being a bit of a potential for the CTs to do more damage. And they did scour the lower side with the bomb. Planted towards upper. Back up we go. Just having a leisurely walk. <laughs> Just checking out the sights on your left, and you'll see B sign to the reactor chamber. And on your left here, you'll be taking a nice look at death. Instant death. <laughs> Permanent death. Virtually. Searson's got himself a nice 600, 1200 bucks. He's looking for another one, another injection of cash. But it's down holding on to that AK, so not to be. 
closing in on his 30 bomb. Definitely called off these last two rounds, but of course this is where they're in pursuit of just the one more, the most elusive of all of them. That 30th round of play, just around the corner, we head into round 29. Regulation in the first map. Let's see this from Borup's POV. No, there we go. <laughs> Hello? We're looking up and we're down. All right, well. Oh, the cat's having a nap. He was tired of the Counter-Strike. Oh, look at the bomb left one. It's so cute. Oh, it's playing. Orp out for Sirius, and he's upgraded the MAC-10 for the final round of play. The double org setup is out for Heroic again. Orp in the hands of Cadian, and here we go. Potentially the last round. Thank you, Chad. Certainly is potentially. Thompson getting quite fast down, actually, and I'm interested to in whose responsibility it will be down. Smoke potentially. Won't be able to go down. Taps in fast, did he get caught out off guard? That's gonna give them so much room to maneuver now. Tessus filling this gap with the element of surprise and he's done well there. Ramp late arrivals, meet Cadian. First found, flash for the repeat, doesn't quite hit the mark. Neither does their Molotov. This is, as Lauren has put it, certainly not too far from a circus. Look at the org from this range though, it's good. Still dirty angle as well. Look at that little pixel that they get to see, but the nade doesn't quite find target, but now he's got a bit of a problem. Nico's there to bail him out of it, though. That's really nicely done by Nico. Seriously, to even up, though. We are into a 2v3, and we've seen weirder scenarios go down than this. Yeah, big have been digging themselves out of these holes all half long. No smoke, though, and that is a big factor. That's a big component of them getting that bomb down. Dentaris is going to have to go hunting. By leaving the door open, there is no sound cue necessary for him to start having a look around and look at how close they are to being caught out here. Cadian caught off guard. It's perfect play from Big Clan again, digging themselves out of these holes. The nade looks promising. Half oh, Searson, but he's still hitting his shots. There's only one more left. Searson's done it all. That nade could find him. Woof, tag to 20. High flash. He continues to try his hunt, try his luck. And Sirsen gets another really wow. fantastic work from him. Starting to match at the top of the scoreboard with Stown, and it digs him out of another hole. Yes, it was a 2v4, 2v3, into a 2v none. Mm. I, I'm just curious as to what more it feels like Heroic have to do here. They're getting themselves in such good positions, like Kadian going down there, running around the corner with a nade in his hand. That You never want to see that, but that's an in-game leader trait, unfortunately. You're always trying to do the... Uh, bigger picture play as opposed to just worrying about the frag in front of you and well here round 30 we have gone the distance we've said it's been close Kadian wants to take it up with some aggression it's a hard smoke for him to pivot around up forward but Nico finds one early on to Zantaris that's a big kill yeah Searson's oh wow Taps has actually caught Nico Stan was trying to jiggle him out but Tizian's taken the top site and Kadian's been caught out as well it all falls to Borup and he's already low Big Clan, they have managed to string together some serious consecutive rounds. This will be five now in succession. Unless Tessus has anything left to contribute. I don't know how he's planning to stop that low site plan. It seems very likely. They found it. They found the weakness, right? It looked like they've been exploiting this. They've been finding room. They've been finding gaps in the defense, constantly slipping through the ranks and tabs and not clean on that. Tessus still stands and cleans up tabs nicely. Bomb yet to be planted, Ooh, yeah. keep in mind. So there's a bit of time for them to work around. We now got the player on ramp. Borup's a little further disconnected, however. Yeah, and if he can land that nade and survive, he doesn't quite do the damage, but he knows that the decon cross is there, so perhaps Searson could be caught out by Borup. Smoke as well. Keep his attention drawn. Door closed, though. Borup take notes. Tessus missed. <sighs> he lives to fight another day. AHP, though. Borup can't really contribute. This is so sketchy. Keto cannot afford to go down here. And Tess is in a position to find him. Needs a clean one, does find it, surely not. Searson, look at the angle. He's missed his shot. Tess, have you got time? Yep, Kit as well, heroic. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. 16.